Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, we wanted to go over like the pros and cons of why we chose a pop-up camper versus a travel trailer. So there's some things to think about, some things that you shouldn't overthink. So in this video, me and her are gonna go back and forth with our thoughts on why we chose our pop-up camper versus going with the travel trailer. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. We knew we wanted to get out of tent camping. That was Yeah, for that sure. was back. So yes. here we go. I got a Jack's oh, got one. Oh, oh, Jack's oh, got one on the tree truck. Stay like this forever. Wanna stay right here with you. Wanna stay right here oh! with you. As the rest we fall. Long and hard, and we went back and forth. And you know, uh, there was probably about you know six or seven pros and six or seven cons and it's really a matter of your lifestyle of camping so the first one and i'm going to start with the pros because we got to start with the positive and then we'll work into the negative so the, the the top thing that i noticed was weight for um you know towability for me i had a toyota tacoma still have the toyota tacoma and you know 1500 pounds to pull um, was a lot better than like 6,000 and you know that was the upper end of the Tacoma and I didn't really want to go that route plus I was like well we're gonna burn more gas so I might as well get a hotel room <laughs> if we're not staying multiple days so can you think of anything about the weight other than your car could probably pull it too yeah I know? think my car could pull it I have a small SUV so I think it definitely could pull it we use jacks because we can be rougher and tougher with this yeah. car than my car. Yeah, you know, they always say they can beat mine up, which isn't fair, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> just in case something happens. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, that was just like the, my biggest thing was weight. And, and really the next one is space. You know, like we store it in the side of our house, uh, right by the peach tree, and it's not a lot of room. And you know, it folds down pretty, pretty, uh, um, small and we don't have to worry about clearance and things like that put um, a tarp or a cover over yeah, it and rock it's and roll good. And, and and that you know that was something we had to look at too it's kind of like when you buy a kayak like where are you gonna put it mm -hmm. you know that was a big thing we didn't have 20 feet you know you know to to really deal with and I like the space inside the camper too because the pop-up campers, you know, the beds pop out. So it gives you more living space where you have the dinette mm -hmm. and then we have a little U-shaped couch area and both those fold into bed. So we can sleep like six to eight people inside the pop-up camper. Yeah. And we really like that. We have friends come and camp with us mm -hmm. and you have room to move around inside yeah. the camper. And they're actually, you know, like on ours, they're on the other side of the camper. You know, they can bring even bring their little dog and it really doesn't, you know like affect our living you know so it's really like a compare and contrast of like with a travel trailer you know a small one you know two or three people can go mm -hmm. for the weekend maybe you four. have one bed and then yeah. the dinette might fold yeah. into a bed versus with a pop-up you can fold that thing out and sleep four the whole, beds sleep the whole neighborhood in there you know so like you know that was another big thing because we wanted to take people with us we didn't always want to go by ourselves or if we're out there and somebody wants to come join us yeah. they can just cruise by stay the night so that was a big thing for us and that was like number one on the list yeah i think price was another big one yeah price you know you can jump into some these pop-ups here around here for like twelve hundred to three thousand dollars right. you're rocking and rolling you're off to the mountains you're off to the beach you're going kayaking yeah but you know if you're going to jump into some of those nicer travel trailers it's almost like the smaller they are the more expensive like the teardrops and things like that they're really expensive with a pop-up we just bought an old used one uh you know spent a little money cleaning it up and we were off to the races yeah that was a big one for yeah. me i didn't want to overspend on the camper so yeah so it was just an easy intro into into camping we didn't know anything we knew we were going to bring something so we we're like let's get it cheap and if we didn't like it we could sell it we didn't have a lot invested in it and and, and that was a big one yeah i like the flexibility of cooking because you guys all know that i'm the cook out of the two of us so the camper, you have the stove uh, top that can go inside or outside. So most of the time we use it outside, mm -hmm. but if we want to bring it inside, we can too. You're not stuck to just one built-in unit. The only thing that's built in in our camper is a sink and yeah. a little mini fridge. So yeah. we can be more flexible with the inside space, I think. Yeah, our stove just kind of plugs and plays inside and outside, mm -hmm. rock and roll. And uh, you know, we wind up cooking outside more than we do inside, so. 
What are some cons? Yeah, the cons like for me is on ground times. Like when we get there, you know, we have to unpack everything, you know, pull it out, flip the, uh, the sink down. I've got to, you know, do the crank, which isn't too bad, but then you got to slide everything out. You got to, you know, do the awning. You got to, you know, put the braces in. Set up the inside. You know, we're talking like 30, 40 minutes, you it's know. It's not hard, it's just, we, you know, you want it a certain way. Yeah, so that um, is something to where with a travel trailer, you just roll up, drop it, and you're ready. You know, like that was a big trade off. And um, it's one we're still kind of dealing with. Yeah. Because, like, if you pull over on the side of the road and you just want to, um, cook a sandwich or get a sandwich or you know cook something or take a nap and you're at a rest stop you can sneak back there for an hour or two but with a pop-up you, you gotta it. break it all out you know and it's a give and get it's it's like one of those things you know mm -hmm. so that was one thing that we really um, we still are arguing with like before we shot this video so what's another one what's another one um maintenance on it yeah those pop-ups are really fragile i mean we've bent slide out rails um we've bumped it we've the door is super fragile and that's mm -hmm. like a centerpiece of it the lift system is super fragile and if that thing breaks you're in for it it's either expensive to fix or you have to fix it yourself and everything's it time. fairly easy to fix yeah like even the slide out i mean it was like seven volts so it wasn't really that troublesome it's just having to do it i think yeah it was just like you know you got to get you got to be handy you got to be a little handy mm -hmm. or you know rving can be costly but once you work the bugs out everything gets lubricated and everything gets fixed fine the maintenance goes down mm -hmm. you know um but the next one <clears throat> with a pop-up is the elements you know wind rain we actually went through that tropical storm in ours when we went to tampa it w went ahead you know went by us but we got the outer bands of it and that thing was rocking pretty good it was 25 mile an hour winds that was swaying yeah. I totally should have hung it better samantha you're a terrible I, meteorologist i, I do not know why you didn't set the awning up right all she had to do was say it's gonna rain jack she said no it's, a, it's 81 and it's not gonna rain Why don't you get out here and hold this thing? I didn't cause it. Yeah. But we, we made it. Yeah, it was didn't, fine. It didn't leak. And it didn't damage it. Mm -mm. So like that was one thing, you know, like the elements, you know, the canvas will sweat, you know, if it's you know too hot or cold, it'll, um, you know, you got critters, you know, like they can get in there, you know, versus like a sealed travel trailer and uh, raccoons and bears. It's a free for all. You know, I, I, we've never had critters in our camper. Yeah, like I keep a little shotgun. I got a little, a little, uh, I call it a camp gun. It just kind of sits, you know, pretty much stays in the camper. And if I got a, a raccoon or a friendly bear, you know, like, hey, I got to protect the fort. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, uh, you, you never know. It's just you and a canvas, you know, a little vinyl canvas. So, uh, you know, it's something to think about. If you're in bear country, you might not want to go the pop-up route, pop route. But yeah. if you're in, Florida, it's not too many things down here, but there's some black bears, but that's really, uh, that's it. You know, really it's, you know, time to set up and how many people you want to take with you. Yeah. Right now, I think that we're liking our pop camper. I don't think we want to switch yet. Yeah. Maybe one day. But but it's like when you get the itch, you see all these other ones out there and your eyeballs start getting like big and then you're just into it. You know? <laughs> so, but that's it really everybody. We just wanted to put down our thoughts on camera. Maybe it helps somebody with their decision. Um, and comment down below with what kind of RV you got. And uh, um, we'll see you next time. Bye.